Hey, fellow aviators, Kelly with Warnock Air. Have you ever been flying along in a flight plan, say you're headed for a VOR and then for the rest of your flight plan, but you get some clearance like 367 Charlie Mike, intercept the 265 degree radial to DNJ, DNJ, and then as filed. Now, DNJ as a VOR might have been in your flight plan, but guess what? That 268 degree radial they just assigned you, it definitely was not. Let me show you using a GTN 750, a quick and easy way to pick up the radial inbound with a magenta line and you can use your autopilot or your course intercept with the CDI to get there. You can see here that we are on the 298 degree radial inbound to DNJ, the VOR. Now what we want to do is figure out a way to pick up ATC's assignment of 268 or the reciprocal in this case of 085. Now the GTN has a really neat feature in that we can leverage that by using the direct to function and entering a course. We'll do this now and we'll just go over and click the direct button. Now D and J is the next waypoint on our flight plan, which is why the GTN picks it up at the top of the screen there in the direct to. It's smart enough to know that the waypoint you're sequencing to next is in your flight plan, the VOR. The only thing we need to tell it at this point is how to get there on the radial assigned by ATC of 265. We'll dial in the reciprocal of 85, click enter, we'll activate, and look at that. We have a magenta line on the 265 degree radial to the VOR. We can simply fly direct to the magenta line, intercept the course line, which will put us on the radial, and fly inbound to DNJ, cross DNJ, and auto sequencing will continue to happen. Now, of course, you could do this with a standard VOR head, but this is a great example of how to use your GPS on the fly, especially in the event that you only had this one instrument in your aircraft. It's a simple and easy tip. It doesn't have to be done this way. I hope you enjoyed it.